Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins where we're still playing Aya and I know I was down below earlier but the game saved me up here. So I'm just gonna try to hop back down there as long as these guards will let me. And I still don't know how I'm gonna go back to playing Bayek. Like, both his and Aya's hearts are kind of broken and... I guess the only thing I have is consolation at this point is that they were at least buried together. But... Man, I don't know. Maybe I should... Maybe I should go... No. It's like I could try to go... I think, I think these guys had glitched out earlier because I think they generally don't... Um... Well, I could try to go across there and then jump, maybe? I just don't know if they'll see me. Nope, no, no. Okay, this is fine. It's not like, uh... I'm really glad that the uh, guards have a limited range of looking up. Or even looking straight out, apparently, because the guys that are farther away could probably see this. No, 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 no. We go down carefully. <laughs> okay. Alright, this is probably gonna work better. Probably. Maybe not. Because those things are actually far, much farther away than I thought. Or, I could just scoochie on over all the way around. Like, all the way around. This ledge is perfect for walking on. So it may not be super exciting, and they may have wanted you to go through the uh, gardens, but uh, I'm just gonna go around. Come on. Hopefully. She's like, look at her inching along. Ah! Really? I can't climb behind this tree? The game's like, no, you broke. You you broke it. This is gonna take so long! It's slightly faster to go up here. I can't go any higher because there's spikes. At least we get to look at the really nice, like, crown molding. Like, the nice Roman-esque. I guess not Roman-esque, it's just straight up Roman crown molding <laughs> all the pretty statues like i mean it's crazy like how high up they how big they'd make these buildings and then like put some crazy detail work at the top because every every part of a, of a building of the architecture was art even if you couldn't see it the gods could also it was just a display of wealth and power but i like that it was you know detail work everywhere Every part was a part of the masterpiece, and I think that's really nice. This is definitely going much faster, and I definitely feel like I kind of broke the game. Like, it was like, yes, you've got to sneak- It feels like, uh, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of, like, Zelda Ocarina of Time, when you're, like, trying to sneak through the garden to go meet Zelda for the first time. That's what it reminds me of. Or through, like, the forest, where, like, the fairy fountain is, and that you're trying to get to the temple and avoid the Minotaur thing. And then I'm like, JK, I'm an assassin. I'm going to go around <laughs> in the entire building. <laughs> oh, man. It was nice, though. I, I appreciate the, uh, the, how nice the area is. Oh, and that's like, that's the Victory Arch. You see that a lot in uh, a lot of Europe. Like, I think Paris has one. Berlin has one. Everybody's got one. Oh my gosh. I had to drop down because of these spikes, and I don't think I can really climb on these walls. At least it's not letting me, like, climb sideways on them. Okay, there's a guard there. I might be able to drop down without that guard noticing, or that guard noticing. Or that guard noticing. It really is playing in hard mode. I, uh, cause I can't track. 
can't track guards with my bird. All right, I'm gonna hide behind this tree. Oh, our blood, we gotta clean it up, clean it up so nobody finds us. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we did it. I can't believe we did that. It was sort of cheating. But you know what? It's the assassin's job to think outside the box. It didn't go straight through the box, it went all the way around the box. Oh my gosh, we're gonna see Brutus and Cassius murder Caesar! This is so cool. Oh! Oh man, this is, this is where we get the hood. That you join with me in building a new Rome. A Rome with you as king? Let Caesar speak! We want a Rome that offers justice, peace, and land to all its citizens, not just the privileged few. You are just as privileged as I. I am not dictator for life. An honor bestowed upon me by the people of Rome. Would you have me refuse such a gift? We would have you think of Rome before yourself. A Greek soldier. I will unite the Republic. Senators Populuske Romanus. For the Senate and the people of Rome. Republic? You speak of Republic while coveting a crown? Marcus Antonius offered me the crown at the Lupercalia festival. I refused it. And what a pity play it was. You don't need a crown. They have made you a god. Mark me, Gaius Cassius Longinus. Support me in my dreams for Rome, and old divisions will be forgotten. Senators, the war is over! The drums of dissent have reached a fever pitch. Rome will not be a monarchy again. It seems Brutus would start a revolution. But against what, my friend? We I don't want to assassinate things. him, it's supposed to be... How can you say that when you have raised yourself so far above the people? I speak for the people. Uh, you have seen... We're supposed to do things from the shadows, I thought. And wasn't it supposed to be Brutus? Oh, that's right, everybody stabs him. Somebody stabs him and then everybody stabs him. Him in the penis. That's not how you kill somebody. The tyrant is dead. You are free now. So I guess I kind of looked enough like one of them that it just kind of like started. I saw a translation once though that said that um, instead of you two in the way we thought, he he said it. Do I know you? You who strikes from the shadows. The same fate will come to all despots. In the end, it is impossible not to become what others believe you are. And I was a god! There is a new creed now. Yeah! Rome is eternal! She will never fall to you or your kind. Freedom is not given, Caesar. It is taken. Some sort of respect there, I guess, maybe? Requiescat in pace, Caesar. She's fucking Roman! In pace. Uh, but apparently, there's a translation that's come out recently that maybe instead of saying, You too, Brutus, it's basically a see you in heck <laughs> type thing. Uh-oh. Do you know what you've done? Caesarian would have sat on the throne of Rome. Listen to the cries in the streets. They call you a dead tyrant's whore. I am still your queen. You are a queen of liars and snakes. I fought for you for five years. A 
Your people worshipped you. Apollodorus died for you, for Egypt. For Egypt? I am Egypt! Then be the ruler our people deserve, or nothing will save you from my blade across your throat. You are the last of the pharaohs. Oh ho ho! Just trying to give Cleopatra a chance. I don't think Cleo I think Cleopatra was just trying to do what she thought was best for Egypt, but also for her, you know. Anyway, basically, there's a translation that came out that said, uh, see, but basically, I'll see you in hell, Brutus, is what, is what, uh, Caesar may have said. Like, you know, like, like you two as in, you know, I'm, I'm going to hell, but you're coming with me at some point. You know, I'll meet you there, essentially, which I thought was kind of interesting. Oh, man, we're playing as a good old Bayek again. Oh, boy. Bayek, how is your heart broken in all of this? I'm so sad. Oh, Assassin's Creed has never made me sad. And now I'm sad. Although, to be fair, the beginning of Assassin's Creed 2 was pretty sad. But it wasn't something where I had, like, gotten to know the people who died. It was like, you know, oh no, my dad and brother died, you know? And your brother was young, and that was sad. That's where the feathers came from, in that series anyway. You collected the feathers because your brother loved uh, birds, loved collecting feathers. I don't like long loading screens, they scare me. Come on, frames. Bayek, Caesar has been assassinated. Septimius is also dead. I have founded a bureau in the middle of Rome, yet no one knows of our existence. Like a moon, oh! we are the hidden ones. I believe in you. The irony of freedom. We are free of each other, yet it brings me no happiness. We must move forward. Remain in our tempest of blood poetry. Nice. Despite it all, we dance and they die. From darkness we have come and in darkness we shall stay. Humans are not meant to last forever. Wow. But this creed will. The creed is the only immortal thing in the world. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Go home. You're free. Do they have a home to go back to? Oh! I don't want to go home by myself. I'm scared. Should we take him to the bureau? No. I'll take you home. Let nothing grieve you beyond measure, for your life is short and time will claim its toll. But I am no longer a, who I was. He's still a father. I have renounced all love I once had. You can't lose. I think you can't unbecome. I have renounced Aya. I don't know. I have killed Aya. I am now the hidden one, known as Amunet. Oh my gosh. This is where it all began. That's so cool. I still think there's 
parts of them, you know, that are what they once were, but they've buried it, essentially. In order to become what they are now, they had to bury what they were. But Bayek still has kindness towards children. Maya still loves Bayek, in a way. May your victories multiply. You know? It's good to know that they still talk, you know? But they, they had to be, because they're both so powerful, they had to be separate, like, in different areas, doing different things, like, you know what I mean? Like, they had to be leaders in various areas, and Bayek stayed in Egypt, and Aya went to Rome. Oh, man. Is that the end? Wow, that was like the end of the Papa? story. Jump. Okay. Oh, man, it is! Oh, my God, it did it at the end! And he says, Kim, who just said jump. I did it. I jumped. <laughs> wow. That was the end of the story. I didn't think I was that close. Wow. Can I get it up? Uh, well, geez. This episode is, is shorter than I thought. Oh, cool. Uh, and can access the Hidden Ones Bureau. We've got, like, an actual bureau! And not only that, like, 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 Bayek started his own, and he's been training people, and, like, we're hopping around doing our, like, Assassin's Creed parkour. Like, that's so cool! That's so cool! Like, I couldn't, I didn't want to, like, interrupt while anybody was talking, but, like, holy cow! This is really neat stuff! Oh, my gosh! Like, seeing the be- like, ah, oh, this is crazy! Like, seeing the beginning of the Assassin's Creed, and, like, like, how the symbol came to be, and, and, like, just seeing the very beginning of everything, and, like, watching new recruits come, and help us out, and, like, become, like, they're dedicated to the cause for various reasons, and it just- really cool this is really cool wow origins has been so fun i do want to go check out the bureau before i go honestly so fun and we did all this yep, 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 yeah. and then so i have enough now to get this ability even though it's like hey that's cool i may come back at some point and mess around I think it was just over 50 hours I've spent in this game getting a lot of the side quests done, getting the main stuff done. Oh, what a good place to end it, too. Like, look at this view. We've got, like, the pyramids and everything. This game has been so great. So far, it is my favorite Assassin's Creed game. I love the setting. I love the characters. The story was phenomenal. Like, I didn't... There were things I didn't expect, and there were emotions I didn't expect to be feeling in an Assassin's Creed game. I, I, I'm a huge fan. This was such a well-made game. I'm really happy. I'm really happy. I'm like kind of sad. I always hate to end a game. Like part of me, like part of the reason I have a hard time finishing games, I think, is because I hate endings, right? Like I hate, I hate. Just, like, I like to live almost in, in perpetuity of, like, not knowing the ending and just being able to play forever. And I can come back and I'll probably, I'll probably mess around with this. I may, I may upload a few more videos with it, doing side quests and stuff, but, um, just for funsies. Nothing, nothing super serious, probably. Maybe doing some achievement hunting, but. Oh, man, and this is a freaking bureau! Like. Like, all the old Assassin's Creed games, right now, all of them. Um, well, yeah. No, I think so. They all had bureaus because the Assassin's Order had been, the Brotherhood had been, had been established already. But we just established it, so we're, like, making it. Wife of Pasher. Oh, Temotep! Oh, good, good, good. Wife of Pasher and Tup... Hapa I can't say that. Tamhotep occupies an important ceremonial role while also being a counterweight to the pressure that lies on her husband's shoulders. The elder daughter of a noble Memphis family, she was always highly religious and fascinated by the pomp of temple ritual. Are we like, think, are these like possible recruits or something? Foxidus. 
uh, Nauro Kos Admiral in Cleopatra's Navy, Foxidas was a wealthy owner of a fleet of ships and its crew, whose pleasures led to Cleopatra. He was lord of Cleopatra's father, although he found Ptolemy Altulius to be a rather boorish man. He was a soldier in his youth, but retired into great wealth and used his money, this money to fund his fleet of ships. Okay, so this was that... Okay, these were our allies we've already had, because that Foxidas was that guy that helped us fly around, like, on a ship and stuff. Are we just, like, checking up on our friends? Oh, okay. The four war elephants. We need someone to take care of them. Nope. <laughs> I'm good, thanks. I just love the setting. Like, I just love, there's like flowers everywhere. And I don't know. I just really love this game. And like how she's, like, I don't know. I have said the gods are dead. But like, you can't shake a belief that you've had your entire life. So they still like, mm -hmm. when she'd like swear or like um, do like a mini prayer or whatever, it was still to the gods and like, Maybe she's like, she doesn't see herself as a god, but she sees herself mm. using the myths of the gods or so, something, you know, which I think is a useful way to go about doing things. Like, she she becomes what they, a piece of what they oh. could not be. I don't know. Oh, okay. My assassination contract is kill all the Falakes. Yeah, well, that was harder, easier said than done. The duelist is the undefeated champion. You need to defeat him to take down. So these are kind of like quests and stuff. Yo, what up? Oh my mm. gosh, look at this. Like, I, that's so cool. Like how this symbol, this symbol I, I'm just really cool. But this symbol is such a, was so cool. Like how it came to be. Tahira is almost a force of nature unto herself. She's like the, the rushing Nile, powerful, mm. impossible to hold back and always moving forward. Tahira has left has the left the life of the city with its corruption and decadence mm. and has retreated into the wilderness. She's intensely devoted to the old gods like Sobek of the pointed teeth and has a strong abhorrence to the parasitic invasion of foreign Roman oh. powers. I don't know if I've met Tahira. Kinsa. I do, yes. A friend of Bayek's from Sia, Sia a good-humored fighter who had become a gladiator in the Fire uh. Marina. Why do we have all these notes in here? Is it just like notes on like possible contacts or problems? Because I left her alive, so hope like I hope that it, it kind of acknowledges that I left her alive mm -hmm. there. I think that's what it looks like. Praxilla's a healer. She's chosen to develop to devote her life to healing the poor Bellagre in her father's mm -hmm. Thermites makeshift clinic. Yes, we did meet her, and I haven't gone to help her yet. <laughs> Yo. Greetings, buy it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We mm -hmm. could like buy things if we wanted to. A tablet of knowledge. Gives you a thousand additional experience points? Uh. Oh, okay, not just like ability points, ex actual experience points. Okay, I was like, what? Bow of Wadjet. Ooh. Uh. So this is where I can buy all the legendary, le legend, legendary, legendary gear. Oh, cool. Mm. Upon which their voices are joined by a discordant third. Mm -hmm. Wow, these are like super poetic. Very cool. We have a so man. This totally brings fight. me back to like Assassin's Creed Two, Brotherhood, all that. Like, man, like you always entered in through the rooftop. There was never like a street entrance. Oh my gosh, this was so cool. Well. I guess I'll call it here, you guys. This has been a, this has been amazing. Ah, I'm I'm so sad to see it cut short in a way. Like not cut short. I'm I'm sad to see it end, but I'm also like, oh, it was so good. I wish I could, like, elucidate more on why I loved this game so much. But Bayek is a character went through a lot of growth, and so did Aya, and like they were ra they were radically different from the beginning to the end. Like, and what happened to them. And, and I, I love that. It, even though it does make me sad, it also makes me happy. I am curious, I guess, what happened to um, the woman at Layla. I guess she, I guess we'll never know for sure how Bayek and Aya ended up in the tomb they were in. But I was thinking there might be some sort of conclusion to that. But like, I think what it is, it's like you can assume they were buried together. I wish I could go back and fix Aya's, like, grave, you know, or, like, tomb, or, or her, like, resting place, because she, she fell into that little sinkhole. 
I wish I could like actually fix that, but other than that, this game was really phenomenal, and I'm I'm so pleased I was able to share it with you guys. That you guys, this took me so long to do, and I finally in the last week was like, you know what? I'm just gonna just gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna roll through it real fast, and and I'm just gonna get it done. But thank you so much for sharing this with me. Again, I may upload videos in the future of like fun quests and stuff. Maybe I'll like live stream some of it as well and just kind of upload videos about other quests and stuff like that. Because this game has been super fun and it's super beautiful. And I really like, I like everything. I just like it. It was so good. I'm so sorry. I'm rambling. But... Thank you all so much for having so much patience with me, for getting through this. I know not a lot of people watch this one, but those of you who watched it, I really do appreciate you more than I can say. And thank you so much for joining Bayek and me on this fantastic journey through Egypt. And by the way, let me say really quick before I forget, I probably won't be doing the DLC for a long time, if I do it at all. Um, I do have other games that I should probably get to, so unfortunately, the Assassin's Creed Origins DLC is going to have to wait indefinitely, but I someday, I do, personally, I do really want to play it at some point, but I do probably need to not be playing two Assassin's Creed games at once. <laughs> it's a little bit much, so someday, someday in the future, I'd love to come back and do the DLC, but for now, this is where my journeys with Bayek will end, and thank you all so much for joining me on this ride through Egypt. It was a blast, and I hope to see you in the next series.